After two weeks, America will remember the largest sea and land invasion in history. We're getting close to the 75th anniversary of D-Day. The Allied assault on Normandy Beach in Nazi-occupied France was a huge turning point. It signaled really the beginning of the end of World War II. It was on June 6, 1944. And all new tonight at 6 o'clock. Just a powerful moment for you. One Henderson veteran was there. And our Jeff Gillen was honored to speak with him this afternoon. That's right. Good evening, everybody. He's 97. 75 years ago, he was a 22-year-old on a Navy ship off Utah Beach. U.S. Senators usually don't do house calls, but not every house has living inside Liddell Neeland. We swept mines in that area. British, Canadians, and Yanks on Hitler's doorstep. For him, June 6, 1944 is more than a dusty history lesson. He was there. The biggest memories I have was the shells flying over us. Neeland was 22. On that day, he was in one of the 255 minesweepers in the English Channel, clearing away German mines to support the invasion. His minesweeper was off Utah Beach, the farthest west of the five landing beaches. Well, I was really afraid. And why did I get afraid? I got afraid because I had a wife and I wanted children like my daddy. Minesweepers were small, which on D-Day was a good thing. At the Utah Beach, those shells went toward the larger ships. They didn't go at the smaller ships. While landings were successful, we were not without our losses. Neeland is one of only 496,000 living World War II vets. About 400 a day die, which is why it was important for Senator Jackie Rosen to stop by. She will be heading to Normandy for the 75th anniversary of the invasion. America must never forget, she says. How the world was changed by what they did and that we shouldn't forget how the world was changed for the better. We were one of the best navies in the world. In the meantime, this man is a living witness to one of the most important days in history. Neeland was discharged in 1946. He had a wife of 66 years, also three children. He earned a PhD and has written 11 books. I'm Jeff Gillen, News 3.